Hey, what's up, everybody? Training camp is fully underway, and we're in the first week. This is serious. We're talking training camp mode, full effect. All right, so training camp is ramping up. First week is pretty much in the books. I have the final practice tonight that's going on. Uh, just some quick news, injury player news. Cedric Wilson out, suspected torn labrum, so he could be out. This could be good news for Terrence Williams, possibly locking up a roster spot. Um, could also be good news for uh, Noah Brown, uh, Katie Cannon. Some of these other guys are going to be competing for these final uh, wide receiver spots. So not looking good for Cedric Wilson there. Could go to IR. We'll see what they do there. They may bring in another receiver. Chaz Green just limped off the practice field again. Uh, he's been coming off the field here, you know, injuries. So same old story with him. But enough of that guy there. Let's talk about who's really making some moves here showing up the offensive line mauling the hell out of people lyle collins here uh versus taco charlton these guys are not messing around they're just going after it um obviously you don't want to hurt your teammates but at the same time you got to see that intensity the offensive line isn't playing around um uh, so lyle collins there taco uh, had a little dust up there um you know and travis frederick taking care of business as well mauling his person um, Connor Williams, they're saying that he's stoning people left and right, especially in the running game. So that's really good news to hear from the second round pick, Connor Williams. Um, and the gob, all right, the newly minted gold plated player, uh, Zach Martin, mauling the hell out of people. What do you expect? All right. So. Just all these guys are just really getting after the offensive line. They're coming in here with a purpose. Uh, Paul Alexander, obviously the new offensive line coach, brings some more. You know, he's bringing more experience to that offensive line, showing these guys more more tricks. All right, more more uh, moves that they already have. You know, they they're getting pretty good experience with several uh, good offensive line coaches, and uh, Paul Alexander is just another one. But very good news there. Very good news. Uh, Zeke Elliott running all over the place. <laughs> I mean, you know, he likes that that Todd Gurley money there. Looks like the running backs are, are back in vogue, as they say. And you know, there was a period of time where the running backs were not really valued. It looks like, you know, like anything else, it's cyclical. So if Zeke keeps up the performances, he'll be in, in, in place for a big giant payday. No doubt about that. He is my favorite running back in the league. I think he is the best running back in the league. Of course, you can make an argument for other players, but I like who we have. I love Zeke Elliott, all right? Um, I'm just really excited what he's going to do with this offensive line, all right? Uh, Dak Prescott looking good in camp, making a connection, continuing to, to build that rapport with tight end uh, Blake Jarwin. You can see here some passes that he makes to Jarwin against Heath. And then another one here to... Uh, to Jarwin as well so this is looking more like a two a two horse race early on but it is very early uh, Blake Jarwin and uh, you know Dalton Schultz out there uh, making some plays too looking very versatile but he had to leave for the birth of his child so he'll be back in the mix but you like what you see with Blake Jarwin Dak Prescott you know continuing that progression from last season bringing it into the, into this season Byron Jones looking good, breaking up passes, making interceptions. You like to see that. Um, it just baffles my mind that they even messed with him at the safety position. He, he just wasn't good at safety, man. He just wasn't. Too finesse there. All right, you cannot have him playing a safety. The move here to cornerback, I do like that. I think this is where they should just, they should have just left him there from the get-go. I think we could probably even have a star cornerback right now. But you got to like what you're seeing from Chris Sharp bring the, uh, the play up out of you know Byron Jones but you know you gotta you gotta take this with a grain of salt as well you know we, we've seen these players do well in camp we've seen Byron Jones look good at safety in camp Mo Claiborne you know in previous camps they look really good in camp and preseason and the regular season they kind of taper off so well, you know, a lot, a lot of these reports you got to take it with a grain of salt, but it is good news. It is good news indeed, especially with the new coach there, coaching up Byron Jones. Positive news. I like that. I like it a lot. Tyrone Crawford 
Looks like, there, looks like he's going to be that uh, Jeremy Mincy type of player. They're talking about having him at end, rotate, rotating him inside. Cowboys like Jihad Ward and Dayton Jones there uh, in the middle right now. But um, I would not mind if the Cowboys beef that up a little bit. You know, that's, that's the weakest point, in my opinion, is the defensive tackle area. But, um, yeah, it looks like Tyrone Crawford will be in the mix there as well, that Jeremy Mincy type you know give you some uh defensive end play and wrote in uh, rotate inside as well so not surprising there tyron crawford looking good in drills looking very good but uh those are the big highlights here for the first week of training camp lots to like out of this the main thing i'm going to say here is sanjay lao and uh you know chris richard and paul alexander these guys were brought in fundamental technical experts and they're just sharpening uh, these players up. You know, that offensive line, they're coming out the gates with a purpose. All right, they look good right now. Uh, the secondary, Christian Shard is very hands-on, showing a lot of technique, a lot of, uh, of things that I think a lot of these players really didn't have, you know, um, in their game plan. But now they have a plan in place. Christian Shard is going to implement that plan. And um, they're looking good, all right? And uh, I like it. I like what we're seeing so far. Camp week one in the books. Let me know what you guys think about uh, everything you're seeing. I know everybody's looking at their their, their videos and everything online. Uh, Foots the King will be on site next week, and we're we're gonna ramp up that podcast there. So we'll have some uh, feet on the ground there, as you could say. So we'll have some on site from him. I'll be talking with Foots the whole way, so and I'll bring those reports to you guys as well. So it's gonna be a good week next week. Well, it's gonna be good. But let me know what you guys think. As usual, guys, continue to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you for the next video. Thanks, guys.